What happened? The bombest churros in town. What happened? Yeah. Swami has the best churros, huh? Okay, so we got to the Swami and tell me why we were there for like 20 minutes and it started raining. It, after it started raining, you know, he had to get whatever he needed to get. We were under like a little, like a little, what is it called? A little canopy under like somebody's, you know, stuffs. Um, we were like, no, let's just shoot. The lady was telling us, nah, stay here for a little bit until the rain comes down. But Mondo wanted to like leave. So I was like, okay, we, we, I just told the lady, oh, um, you know, we're gonna go. And then we said, well, right when we were heading out, you know, we got in our car, we put our things away, we put the, the stroller away and everything. Right when we were like, leaving it stopped raining i knew we should have stayed with the lady just a little bit longer or else yeah so now i, I want to go back but mano doesn't want to go back either way we had to pay again so no, now nah. we saw that oh we saw the tags thing oh, okay we could have walked in but still like like pinche mala suerte you know like yeah so we were just there for 20 minutes i enjoyed churro at least i got my churro other than that yeah, I wanted to walk around a little bit, but we were just there for 20 minutes. We literally not even, we didn't even walk halfway. We walked like three rows. Three rows? Three rows and that's it. So and if you guys ever been to Fontana Swami, it's a really big Swami. So three rows ain't shit. And I wanted to like see things, look around, see what I can buy, but no. But anyways, we are on our way to, uh, where's the Riverside? That, that um, Riverside or, um, Kind of like Hoopa Valley in the middle, in between. Cause like we heard All Flavors No Grease is gonna be there. If you guys don't know what All Flavors No Grease is, it's a, it's a food truck that he's basically in LA, but he travels, like not travels, travels, but like kind of to like certain places. And um, they say they got, they got some bomb quesadillas, burritos, tacos, whatever. So I'm gonna try it out. We've been waiting for him to come over here to Riverside for a, a while, right? So I want to see what the hype is about this taco sh taco truck. So today we're gonna wait. We have to see. Let's see if he's there. Cause I imagine he's like, oh, because of the weather, like I couldn't make like it. Like last time he said, rain or shine, I'm still posted. Okay. Well, he, he better be that. posted because like we were up. Cause like he has this on his um Instagram. He has um, what is it called? Um, his little his little calendar of of his whole month or week. So, what the fuck? My phone's acting dumb. So, yeah. I'm gonna look on his Instagram to see if he says, oh, I'm right here posted in the Hurupa Valley slash Riverside. Well, it's basically Riverside. So. Okay. Um, yep, he's gonna be there on Lamina where Kmart is at. Uh, we came to um, to Kmart because uh, he wasn't there yet, like in the parking lot. So, we came to Kmart really quick just to make time pass by. Hopefully, by the time we get out of Kmart, he will be there, so yeah. So hopefully he goes. Well, he should go. He said he was gonna go, so hopefully it's bomb. We're at the off river zone. Yeah, I ordered the chicken with steak and to be honest that looks so good. Can you see that? Oh my god, it's so good. It looks, does it taste? I mean, though? my bad. Did I say taste? No, but... No, I said it looks good. But yeah, like I'm not surprised. I heard the, the green sauce supposedly is like really good. So. Let's try it out, but it looks delicious. It comes with sour cream, pico de gallo, uh, guacamole, I think. Fuck. It was like ten dollars each. Um, no, I think the one with the chicken and the and the steak is um fifteen dollars. I think. 
And I ordered the chicken and steak one. Because there's, there, there's shrimp as well. You can order all three meats, but... I just wanted the chicken and the steak. So it's pretty good. Bye. I recommend you guys to go here, like literally. Order the two mix. Right? Was it two mix? Oh, uh, yeah. Chicken and steak. Is it mute or they have pineapple? Yeah, it has pineapple. Pineapple. Daddy. Wow. Daddy. Yeah, those, just, those are, the, way the, the wait was like 30 minutes, huh? 40 minutes the wait. Yeah. Because it's fresh. Long wait, but literally it's all worth it. Like, oh my god. Look, we'll go back. I'm gonna be checking on his menu. Not on his menu, my bad. On his schedule. When he comes back, I, I'm for I sure going. The, I got the picture of the menu. You got the picture? Oh yeah, I forgot some. On the menu, I think I I did a video on the menu, but I probably didn't focus it right, but they sell burritos, tacos, and quesadillas. That's it, huh? Yeah. And then the three meats they have is chicken, steak, and shrimp. So, yeah. But I just got the quesadilla. I was going to order a burrito, but they said they didn't have burritos. So, that's a bummer. But I'm glad I got the quesadilla. Either way, that's just bomb. Like, no joke. Like, well, which one's bummer? Ruben's taco or the quesadillas or these ones? Because we like this, this uh, Mexican. Because we like this place in Riverside too. It's called um it's um it's called Ruben's Taco, I think too. And their quesadillas, the maíz, bomb. Like you would never taste any other quesadillas as bomb as those. Those are like handmade tortillas, so that's why they're so bomb. And I get the carne asada one. And that's our best quesadilla spot. These are, these are good. But these are it's cause these are different because like the chicken is marinated differently and the steak is marinated differently. And like, but they don't have homemade tortillas though. But either way, like for something different, the bomb. So both of those are my favorite quesadillas actually. And they put sour cream. I forgot to tell you guys, they put sour cream as well. So is this bell peppers? Oh, and bell peppers. Those are, those, there's bell peppers, pineapple, steak, chicken, cheese. Pico de gallo, sour cream, and um, that special green sauce that he, he always like <laughs> promotes or whatever. It's pretty bomb. Pretty bomb. But the bad thing about it, the guy, like the main main guy, he wasn't there. And I was hoping to see him, you know, but he wasn't. Pero la suegra no abre la puerta. Estoy aquí esperando a la suegra en la puerta, pero no mando contesta. Estamos aquí por 20 minutos y no quiere abrir la puerta. It's probably busy. Two hours later. Can you open the front door? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Finally. Oh, we were here. For, we were here for twenty minutes. No, no. But I was thinking about it, and then um. Uh,